Hi. I'm so glad you're here. I got your message. I came as soon as I could. What happened to Annie? How's the baby? The doctor's in with her now. Annie's fine. The baby's fine. It was just uh, Annie doing another one of her. They're fine. How is she? Uh, Mr. Lavery asked me to let you know Mrs. Lavery's having a miscarriage. Losing the baby, Annie, that's... that's... It's not your fault, okay? You didn't do anything horrible. I took a life, right? I'm guilty of murder. Annie couldn't have lost the baby. That can't be. I think she's faking this too. Maybe it's for the best. How can you say that? How can it be for the best? The child is gone. Murder? What are you, what are you talking about? Annie. The baby. That wasn't murder, Annie. That, that was a miscarriage. Okay, it's not your fault. Yes, it is. I should have focused on taking care of this baby and doing what is best for him or her, and I've been really selfish. No, don't do this, Annie. Don't. Right? I wanted this baby so bad. But I wanted you more. And our child died because of the things that I've done. You cannot think this way, Annie. I should have told you when I found out that your vasectomy never happened. I should have just been honest. But I lied. I tricked you. I used this child as a way to hang on to a man I knew didn't love me anymore. Annie. Listen, listen. this pregnancy, I thought it was going to fix us. Make us better. I thought it was going to make you love me again. But it didn't. So I used it as a way to keep you close to me. The morning sickness on the plane from Vegas, I faked it. All the times that I said I felt woozy, I lied. I just wanted to reach out to you and feel you there with your arms around me. And I thought if I did that enough, if I needed you enough, if the baby needed you enough, you would come back to me. You would come, you would come back to us. And you would want to love me again. I'm sorry. The car accident. <laughs> It wasn't an accident. I pushed the car down the hill. I know. And you've done all the right things. You've said all the right things, but you still didn't love me. And all I had was this baby and Emma, and you loved them. So I used our children. took Emma and left because I knew you would chase us. I wanted you to want me back. I wanted you to fight for me. I, I should have known that you wouldn't. So, you got the restraining order. And, and, and the bruises? Not hard to do. I figured you would believe that maybe you had grabbed me so hard that you left those marks. Even though I know you would never, ever do that. But I thought, if you thought you came even close to physical abuse, you would feel so guilty that you'd come running on back to me. You knew how that would hurt me. I know they think I'm crazy. And I was. 
I was crazy for you. I was crazy in love. But the more you didn't love me, the more desperate I got. And the more time you spent with Greenlee, the more I wanted to hurt you. I wanted you to, I wanted to punish you for not loving me the way that I felt that you should. I wanted to punish you for loving her more than you loved me. And now I've ruined any chances of us ever being together or ever being happy. I've done some really horrible things, Ryan. And I've been really selfish. And I've hurt a lot of people. And now this is my punishment. Our baby. You hate me. Just trying to understand. I killed our child. You lied. You did some serious numbers on me and our friends, but I know you loved the baby. I know you never intentionally hurt our child, Annie. You didn't do this. I took chances. I took a lot of risks. Nothing could stop me. No mother, no good mother would do the things that I've done. You've been under a lot of stress lately. You know? Don't, Ryan, don't make excuses for me. And don't forgive me. I don't deserve it. Just go. I'm not going to leave you alone. Please, Annie. Ryan, I don't want you here. Just go. Please, Annie, just... Says. Bravo. Sorry. If there's anything that we can do. How's Amy? doesn't need. 